Today, I'm gonna to show you how this creative right here has generated millions of dollars for a CPG brand in revenue, and other creatives like this have done the exact same thing. I'm gonna break down the entire process for you, okay? So this is a brand that we helped, and we lowered their cost per acquisition, their CPA, by 60%. That is unreal. And I wanna show you this format and the formula that we have done, and we've done this for numerous brands, and this is this is the way to do it, okay? This is high value content here, okay? I shouldn't even be giving away this for free, but I am. So let's talk about where they were when they first came to us. So when this brand first came to us, they were running static ads, they were running a few high production videos that an agency had created for them, and basically nothing was performing. It was, it was a mess, right? But then, Switch back now, they have over 24 ad creatives coming in every single month and they never need to think about it, okay? This allows them to basically scale on autopilot. They can test out new styles and concepts and more importantly, they can find out new winners whenever they want, okay? A top tip here, this is the secret that nobody tells you about. Consistent testing of new ideas is how you scale a CPG brand and how you scale any brand. If you're in e-com, this is how you do it. Look, even, even the marketing guy from the brand, he said those days when you don't want them to end because ad performance is so good. Shout out to at Sal Fraser, that's me for a mega chunk of the creative that's driving it. And he's talking about these videos which I'm gonna, which were made using this formula that I'll break through. So first of all, let's, let's talk about two types of e-com brands. So the first one we have is like the old type of e-com brand, okay? They use an old style of creative um, and it's, essentially failing them because they're only making creative when they have to. When those creators that they've been relying on start to die, that is when they decide to make new creative. And as we spoke about just a second ago, the only way to do it is consistent testing. This is not what the old style of e-com is doing. They're using the same formats and they're never trying anything new. If this sounds like you, then you need to come to the other side of this uh, of this form here, okay? So they use the old methods of managing their ads, they're targeting specific demographics of people, they're using detailed targets and all this stuff that Facebook tells you not to do anymore, they are doing it. And basically the entire ad account is propped up on like one or two creatives. And if they die, so does their business. Nobody wants to be in that position. So flash forward to the new type of e-com brand. The new style is forever testing new concepts and ideas because they want to find a new winner all the time. They test before they judge. Man, is this important. So instead of just going, I don't like this creative, I'm not going to test it. Instead, they just put it on the ad account and they let their customers decide, is this a good ad or not? The next thing they do is they're researching their customer before they're making anything. Instead of just thinking that they know best, no. Instead, they are looking at what their customer once and then they're making it. They're also ready to try anything that works. Links back to the second point. They're testing before they judge it. And then finally, they are performance focused when it comes to ad creative. If the gray side sounds like you, then you need to make a change to come over to the green side. Okay, and how can you do that? Well, you can implement our systems because this system here is what we use to help that CPG brand lower their CPA by 60%. Okay, step one is arguably the most important. So let's go through it. So research. What are we starting off with here? Well, the first thing we're starting off with is our reviews. These are gold mines. This is what builds a brand. This is where you learn about your customer. So we're looking at reviews and we're seeing what are your customers saying about the product? What do they love? When do they use it? All this type of content is so important to find out. The next place we can find out this information is the comments, the comments of the ads, the comments of the organic posts, all this stuff. What are some common themes that are always coming up, okay? Are there any common questions, potentially? Is there something that you're not answering, which you might be able to? And finally, what do people love about your products? If you don't have any of this and you're just starting out, you can use your competitors, don't worry. And then finally, past data, what's worked in the past, what creative styles have worked, what hooks have worked, so on, so forth. You want to gather as much data as you can do in this research section because this is really important. Let's have a quick look, a little sample here, okay? So this is taken from that brand's website. So 
let's read this review here. This is the best protein bar I have ever tried. I purchased it from Trader Joe's, but I was hesitant to try it because I've never seen this brand before. It blew me away. The flavor is really tasty. The chocolate chips are so creamy. This product is delicious and truly checks all the boxes. Man, now that is a hell of a review, isn't it? That is an amazing review. So let's highlight some key parts that we could potentially use here. Uh, they purchased it at Trader Joe's. So that's a call out somewhere where people can grab it. They were hesitant to try it because they've never seen the brand before. So that means that maybe we need to do some more education. They said it blew them away. It was really tasty. The chocolate chips were so creamy. That's a real great selling point here. And also I love this line. It's delicious and truly checks all of the boxes. We could use that. That's fantastic. What a brilliant review that is. And then finally, I've delved into one of, uh, one of our ads and into the comments, looking for carb count. Then the brand had to get in and tell you the carb count. So, well, what do we do? We need to include that inside the creative. There you go. See, you see how useful reviews can be? So once you've done this, this is the most important bit. If you can nail this and you learn your customer, then we're onto a winner already. So let's look down now at creative strategy. This is step two, okay? So it all starts with inspo. We wanna use apps like Foreplay. There's a link to that down in the description if you wanna have a look at this amazing place where you can save adverts onto boards, a great place for inspiration as well. Also use Facebook ad library or those two in combination. You can see what similar niches are doing, what's working and what's not. You can also see how long ads have been running, which is fantastic to find competitors winner ads. After that, we're gonna concept things, okay? I'm gonna show you in a second what a concept deck looks like for this brand. Um, but once we have our ideas, then we can do some concepting, okay? So this is our four play board for Aloha, which is the brand in question. You can see here, we've got, you know, we, we have some protein bar stuff, but then we also have Air Up. We have an example from Air Up. That's a, that's a water bottle. It doesn't have to be necessarily the exact same product as you have. If you think you can make that work for your brand, then do it. This is what inspiration is all about. This is why Foreplay is so brilliant, is to save all this content. So concepting. So once we've grabbed all this stuff from the research days here, that's what we use then in order to generate our ideas and our concepts because we're speaking to the customer that way. So let's have a look at this. This is just a random sample of a concept that we put together. We're framing this a bit like a storyboard. This is like top level concepting basically. So in this angle, a female creator will be demonstrating the Aloha bars, an excellent choice for travel and outdoor pursuits. There we go. And the way we found that was because we realized that people in the comments were saying, I take this on hikes every single time I go. We've made a concept around it. And you can see we've literally like broken down the, 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 the main parts of it. And then on another slide, what we do is we just break down the script. We're starting with the hooks here for the variations and then we have the main script. This is what we present to the client, but this can be really great to present internally as well to just get everybody on the same page or just to do it yourself so that you can have all your ideas on the same page. So that is your creative strategy and this is so important to do, okay? This is where you build your ideas out because without that, we can't move on to step three, which is the production of it. How do we actually make this thing? So this is how we did it. So we do a lot of UGC. We also do a lot of high production for them. So when we're talking about UGC, we're using Backstage, we're using Star Now to find the right creators for the job. We're hiring actors. This is so such an important part. We're hiring actors here, okay? So once you have found the right people, you've hired the actors, and then if they're shooting it, then you can give the creators a full plan of what to film and how to do it. You can literally, this concept here, we can break this down into a shot list and we can send it with the examples and fully direct them. If you want to see a video on how to put that together, I'll make that for you. And then once we've done that, so, you know, this could, you know, this is like one of the high production ones we did for them. So obviously we didn't need to hire an actor for this. This is all done in our studio, but you can see again, we follow the same steps here. We just didn't have a cast. And then finally editing. We use Adobe. We use the Adobe suite to edit, but you can use CapCut. It's free to do it in CapCut and it's super powerful as well. And this is another one of the, uh, one of the examples of a UGC. We've planned out all these shots for her and she just went ahead and shot them. It's so fantastic when you find talented people on these websites. Websites. And then what do we do? Well, we launch and then we start the whole process again because 
we need to do our research. Once again, instead of past data, this time we can use data from our last batch of creatives. And that is the exact system that we use to generate CPG brands, DTC brands, millions of dollars. Okay, this has literally helped them lower their CPA, generate millions in revenue, and we do it every single day using this amazing system which we have outlined here. And you can take this system and you can start making some ads for yourself. Remember, most important part is research. We move on to creative strategy and then we go into production and then we start the whole thing all over again. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe as well if you want. Uh, all my links are down there. If you want to check out my agency, we help D2C brands do this exact thing over and over again. Uh, so if you want to be part of that crew, there's a link down at the bottom. Follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.